All right, uh, exegetical preaching is uh, uh, coming up, and uh, today, we, uh, today uh, this week, the first, first day of uh, November, we are preaching on uh, the book of Daniel. Uh, so this is a pretty well-known story, and so I will not uh, read, uh, uh, read the context uh, pretty much, so, but I will uh, start from uh, introduction. In the meantime, I read as a uh, I need and I'll read an English text. All right. Uh, Daniel and the three, ch three uh, friends' story is a well known story, as you know, a uh, very famous one. When we are younger students, when we come to the church, so many times we are, uh, we are heard about this story. And always we are very excited, right? Very excited, and we like pretty much. And then uh, we like live like uh, Daniel and his friends. However, if we apply uh, this story to, to our time, it's not that easy because he, he had lived a very difficult you know, situation in politically. As you know, he started, he lived under uh, the Babylonian Empire and later in all his age, he lived uh, you know, in Persian and empire and uh, you so uh, bible is talking about start from in the third year of Je jehoiakim and uh, look at uh, chapter one first one is talking about the third year is it is a uh, before christ 605 you know it was a 605 long time ago 2600 years ago and he was a youngster he was a boy at the time so Ozum, yeah, if we just uh, guess, I think his uh, age is around 15 or 18, about that, uh, his age. But later, uh, when the uh, Persian uh, Empire, uh, when he was very old, it was uh, 536, 70 years later. So if you add up 70 plus 16, so his age was 86, so he had uh, lived uh, for a long time. You know, you're talking about almost 80, 90 years. Uh, but the, uh, the event is starting from, if you read it, Daniel chapter 1, as we know, and uh, uh, captivity, you know. Uh, 605 is a captivity, the first of captivity, and 597 is the second captivity, and 586 is a fall of Jerusalem. So totally they're ruined in 586 at that time. But, but this is the beginning. And uh, Nebuchadnezzar, the Babylon king, just invaded uh, you know, Judah and besieged it, verse 1, talking about. And uh, they uh, take so many people uh, into captivity. And among them, there was, a, as you know, there was, a, a, you know, a, we, as we know, a, you know, Daniel was there and his uh, three friends uh, were there. And uh, they were selected uh, as a special, you know, very, uh, I think, uh, uh, very uh, class, you know, cluster people. And they were selected uh, to be trained, uh, Babylonian education. But there was a good thing. They could study and they could have a, like a scholarship like that. But everything was good. But only bad thing is they should leave and uh, they should uh, follow, you know, procedure, eating style and everything. But... As you know, idolatry, you know, everything they, uh, they assisted, uh, food, you know, serve, was, uh, you know, after idolatry worship. After that, uh, they were given. So it's not, uh, you know, it's participating in a kind of idolatry, you know. That's why they, as you know, they rejected it, right? And they didn't like it uh, as a Babylonian. Uh, just that they uh, ser served. So they tried to uh, ask them, you know, as when you look at the Bible and uh, verse 5, yeah, verse 5 is talking about the king assigned them daily portion of the food and uh, that the king ate and of the, of the wine that he drank. They were to be educated for three years, and the uh, end of uh, that time, they were to stand before the king. So they they trying to train, you know, elite education like that. But 
problem I indicate already. Uh, problem, problem is only, you know, uh, if you look at verse 8, but Daniel resolved that he would not defile himself with the king's food uh, or with the wine that he drank. You know, if, if we look at this passage, we just uh, can, uh, you know, assume that uh, this is, uh, food is, uh, has a little problem with that. You know, after uh, dedicated to the idols, after that, they were, uh, this food was given to them. So this is, a, this could be a problem. That's why Daniel decided, his friend, uh, all of them decided not to eat. They tried to eat vegetables and just the water, you know. It's a lots of, I think, uh, uh, so if they do that, eunuch and a servant was so terrified. If they, you know, they don't eat it and he will have a problem. That's why eunuch was uh, so worried about, but they asked a favor and then, but just a testing, couple of days, 10 days, if you, uh, our body shape and condition will be good and let us just allow us to have only vegetable eating. So verse 12 is talking about uh, test your servants for 10 days. Let us be given vegetable to eat and waters to drink. And after uh, 10 days test, the test was, uh, you know, came out and uh, uh, they had, a, uh, you know, they looking was uh, good. And their face was look so good. Uh, verse 15, and uh, it's uh, talking about at the end of uh, 10 days, it was uh, seen that they were better in appearance and fatter in flesh than all the youth who ate the king's food. So this is a very uh, interesting. How come you just uh, take a vegetable and how come uh, you got a good, uh, you know, fatty, you know, good fat? Uh, it's possible. Yeah, there is a good uh, fat. Uh, if you take uh, like, uh, uh, you know, peanut stuff, you know, including, and it has only fat. So you can have also, uh, you may gain fat as well, good fat, you know. So it's possible, even though uh, we eat uh, so healthy food, especially. All right, this is a very, uh, this text, text is very proper to me. As you know, uh, I... Uh, I am dieting for two weeks and uh, lost uh, 7.2 kilogram uh, up to today. I should go further, five more weeks to go. And uh, totally, uh, I'm trying to, uh, I'm doing because I want to get healthy. But however, in the meantime, I'm just uh, praying for uh, very, uh, try to pray like uh, Daniel. You know, Daniel had uh, so many times he prayed. If you look at chapter 10, he's uh, talking about he was uh, praying 30 weeks, you know. So many people, they thinking uh, chapter 10 is uh, talking about uh, he didn't eat. But this is uh, like a diet as well. If you look at chapter 10, verse 3, uh, I will read it. I ate no uh, de uh, yeah, uh, delicacies, no meat or wine entered yeah, my mouth, nor did I appoint myself at all. So it means, you know, he didn't eat uh, like a meat and like that, but he, he just uh, ate a little bit, a small amount of a portion and uh, for three weeks. So he had a diet or not because of diet, he uh, needed to, needed to pray. So sometimes we needed to have time, even though you have to eat food, but you better uh, pray for yourself. You do just uh, concentrate, you better concentrate on praying or having fellowship with God. This is a very important, you know. Uh, I think in a year, a uh, set one time, at least uh, a week is okay, uh, two weeks is okay. Uh, through my experience, I realized that uh, I'm just uh, thinking about once a year, at least uh, check my, you know, uh, health, health condition, like uh, everything is uh, uh, just getting good, uh, you know, your weight or maybe your blood, uh, you know, or analysis, if you do that and you will see uh, diabetes and the cancer problem or whatever, uh, your liver problem or the result is coming up uh, by, you know, blood test. So we sometimes, uh, once a year, we have, we better check our 
body health. Not only that, spiritually look back yourself and check your uh, health in spirit and body. We very needed it. Especially, I think uh, Daniel is uh, like a man who prayed uh, real, really. He spent three weeks to just, uh, you know, uh, pray to God and uh, what's going on, you know, what will happen in his time. So spiritually, he was uh, so a lot. He was concerning everything, what will happen in his time. You know, he was uh, so influential person, you know, in his time, not only that, he looking back, you know, what will happen in our times, 70 weeks, and then he just, uh, 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 we, after, you know, prayer, his prayer, he just uh, realized what will happen in his time, Persian Empire, and then Greek and Roman Empire, you know, what will happen in the future, he knew about it, you know, he just uh, uh, saw what the restoration of his people will uh, be, he already knew by his prayer. So, we can learn from Daniel, we should pray for in our time, also we should think about uh, in our, you know, situation, empire right now, even though we don't know, we have to pray to God, not only for yourself, for our environments and for our uh, generation, especially Korean church, you, should, you better just uh, spiritually dedicate yourself and set a time to pray to God. This is very important. So I want to, I exhort you, challenge you to set a time to have a prayer and not only that, and take care of your body health as well. Additionally, I'm talking about. All right. So we should live as Christian. Our ethics, worldview, style should be derived from the word of God. You know, uh, if you look at Daniel, what can you really uh, learn from them because he tried to live in difficult situation like a Babylonian empire empire he just want to live as a Christian he, he doesn't want to defile himself you know look at the verse uh, 8 is uh, so important he didn't he did not want to defile himself he said determined he reserved his heart he set his heart not to defile himself. So when you leave this uh, situation in our country, and uh, many people easy to uh, just uh, you know make a scene, like uh, especially uh, you know when you get uh, you know you can defile yourself sexually, you can defile yourself uh, you know uh, illegal you know only illegally maybe you can have uh, uh, money like. Uh, like that, or illegally you're doing something, this can be. Also, if you just uh, uh, far away from the teaching of the Bible, and spiritually, you are just uh, out of, you know, uh, our faith. So we should keep our faith, even though you are uh, facing difficult situations. Sometimes someone is like, a, uh, like a threatening you. If you go to uh, army, service to the army, and uh, many people just, uh, I, I think, uh, force you to, uh, you know, uh, smoke, you know, something or do something, drink uh, alcohol like that. Uh, in we have many times attempted in our situation or higher position, any uh, people is asking you. But we should just uh, show ourselves that we are Christian. We don't drink uh, alcohol. We don't just uh, have uh, smoking. We don't do that. And we. Just uh, show ourselves a Christian light. Daniel did that. Oh, I cannot eat that food, you know, because that food is served, served already to the heathen idols. After that, it came out, it served to us. I, ca I can eat them. Even though the king is uh, forcing us to eat, I can eat it. So just uh, give us an opportunity to test it. So they tried to have a festival and that they resort after 10 days, it was good. This is a very, uh, you know, challenging, you know. They eat only vegetable. How come their looking is better, you know? It's, uh, 15 is very uh, challenging. You know? It seemed uh, they were better, better, better in appearance and feather than in flesh. Feather, that means gain more weight, you know. Gain, uh, they gained more muscle. You know, it's not that easy. So we can get it. 
when you have uh, like a uh, uh, like a two food in our days bean or you know whatever we can have a more uh, I think fat from that it's a healthy fat we can have that so this is a God's uh, I think uh, guidance so we have to pray to God try to live as a Christian it's not that easy you're living in this hidden you know uh, circumstances it's not that easy as you know, healthy food is a, a, has a fiber. If you uh, you eat many uh, vegetables, it has lots of a fiber. You know, fiber is really good, and it's a colon. It it, it helps to uh, I think uh, very uh, action. You know, uh, to colon and uh, make you very uh, I think healthy. Not only that, and uh, low calories and uh, carbo. Uh, hydrate race and fat and fiber whatever you have to you can eat with a uh, either peanut whatever especially vegetable you can have that uh, good fat uh, from that so your lifestyle is a uh, like a, uh, you have to select some food you, you should not eat everything you know in our age especially uh, for 50 years older than people older people I used to eat anything, <laughs> but now after, I just decided not to eat anything. Uh, I should eat because I, only I can, you know, uh, allow it the food, you know, I can eat it. So I cannot eat anything. A long time ago, uh, two weeks ago, I, I tried to eat a every food I wanted, but I cannot eat from now on. You know, so same thing. You have to abstain from something. You have to set your heart. And as Christian, we live, have a lifestyle, eating style, whatever, you have to uh, change yourself from now. Because Daniel is not just because of uh, eating problem, because of, uh, you know, he doesn't want to really have uh, like, a, uh, you know, foreign God, idolatry. He doesn't, he didn't want to participate in uh, idolatry. All right, second point is God's guidance. And the end of the time, the king had commanded that they should be brought in. The chief of the eunuchs brought them in before Nebuchadnezzar. Verse 18 is talking about. Verse 20, verse 20. And in every matter of wisdom and understanding about which the king inquired of them, he found them ten times better than all the magicians, enchanters. They were in all his kingdom. This, this was incredible. They got, uh, you know, 10 times than, uh, you know, uh, than all the uh, magicians. So we, that means uh, very excellent. How can you uh, be uh, excellent in all areas? I think uh, God is all source of wisdom and understanding. God can give you uh, all wisdom and understanding. I'm like uh, ordinary people, you know. I'm ordinary person. IQ is 100, 126, very <laughs> average. But uh, average score, everything. But however, if I just uh, pay attention, you know, if I just uh, set my heart only uh, the word of God and only the guidance by God, and you will be top and excellent, you know, like uh, 10 times. In Look at this. He found them 10 times better than. You can do second times better than. Three times, four times, you know, five times, six times, seven times, eight times, 10 times. You, you, you can really qualify them very excellent and a top, you know, uh, human resource, you know, you can be. How come? If God is giving you wisdom and understanding, it's possible. How come you can be excellent? Don't worry about it. God, can, uh, God is able to give you wisdom. God is able to give you everything you need. If you need uh, English, God will give you understanding in English. If you need a uh, capability of uh, speaking Hebrew, God will give you capability. No problem. What's the big deal? God can give you everything. If you need money, God will just, uh, uh, I think, uh, assist you later, provide you. And then God if you really needed a position like a president in our country the president is a, a way to the going to you know prison but it's, it's not 
good, but anyway, but if you need it, whatever position, if you want uh, to be a doctor and God will give you that position, whatever, God can make you 10 times better than everything. Do you believe this? I believe it. When I was a, you know, university student, college student, I believed it. God can make me like that 10 times better than average. You know, God is uh, uh, who is able to give you wisdom and understanding and capability and everything, strength and everything. Only we need, a, we need to have a right reason. You know, why do you want to get smart? You know, you should have reason. Not because of you want to be shown to people or just recognize the people. Not because of that. Because of the, for the work of the Lord, you know, the, for the building of the kingdom of God. That's why you need capability. You know, you need a more ability. You should have as much as you can. If you have it, you can help it. You can help other people, you know, you can serve. If you know, you know, more, I think uh, uh, capability, uh, credentials, it will really help you to, to uh, you know, serve for the kingdom of God. That's why we need it, right? I was uh, so impressed in verse 20. And every matter of wisdom and understanding about which the king inquired of them, he found them ten times better than, wow, ten times. So I hope you, all of you, will get a ten times better than average. <laughs> Amen? Yeah, ten times. It's a, really, you should, you better admire, uh, ask, you know, you better hope with that. All right. So this is a really, uh, I think, uh, challenging. So God is, God allow us that superiority in our situation. As a Christian, if you believe it, God is uh, just to put you on, on high. You know, alone make you really uh, great. God, can you do that? God, make you uh, to do that because He is all source of power, right? Dan and his friends experience to become top leaders in their time. You may do it. We can do it. We should do it in our time, in order to share witness the gospel of the Lord to the people. Right? God give, God give you opportunity. So God is giving him, Daniel, to last his life from, you know, teenager to the 80 years old. He might uh, die around the 80, some end of 80, some almost 90. So he had lived a long, for a long time. We can assume that chapter 10 is talking about, it was uh, 536. He's, he was a youngster, 605 in chapter 1. So 70 years uh, had passed. So he ended up his age uh, 17 years, 87 something. So he had lived up to 90 years old. And he had lived for a long time. So God should give you more, longer, uh, I think, opportunity. If, uh, if you got a job and uh, just uh, for a short time, and uh, it cannot you know, impact on uh, much more. So God should uh, last your way, the rest of your days and rest of your opportunity. So, uh, so do I, I want it. And you may want to, to do it too. So I think the blessing of uh, Daniel was so uh, great. He started from 15 years old and on to almost 80, with the end of 80. So our rest of uh, Lives should be the same, hopefully. If you want to really want to live according to the word of God, God will give you more chance to live. In conclusion, I want to just uh, connect to the New Testament. I challenge you with you, uh, I think a word of you is uh, shown as a poor. And uh, Philippians 1.27 is a very important word In here. Only let your conversation be as it becomes the gospel of Christ. And that whether I come and the uh, rest of the verse is talking about and uh, uh, live according to, yeah, in here, live as a citizen of, uh, live uh, uh, your lives uh, of worthy of uh, citizenship. 
This is a polytheoma in Greek, and Philippians one twenty seven. We live as a, uh, you know, live as a citizen. This is a, uh, the key verse of uh, Philippians, right? So I just uh, uh, emphasize four things there. If you look at that, uh, Paul is talking about what is our purpose to live. He is uh, challenging us. Our purpose is uh, for to me to live is Christ, and to die is in gain. What do you what? Why do you live in this world? Right to get a success, yeah, success, or to accomplish your uh, reason to live. What is your reason to live in this world? Paul is challenging you. For to me, to live is Christ. To die is in gain. To live, to die, it doesn't matter. Living with Christ is the meaning of a life. We can die now, but why do, do our life should be less than, you know, at the end of, a, uh, as, a, as long as we live? Because we want to work with Christ. The only reason, as a Christian, we live this world. So many challenge, so many, I think, uh, threatening from the world are there, exist in, uh, in our situation, in our surroundings. But however, you shouldn't forget, why do you live in this world? For the glory of God. And the Romans 11, 36 are talking about, you know, everything is coming from uh, Christ. So you should live for the glory, uh, for the glory of God. And also Philippians 2, 5 is talking about, have this, this mind among yourselves, which is yours in Christ Jesus. What does it mean? When you live, we live like Christ. He has a humility, humiliation. He is just a, humble himself, very uh, submission, and like that, his uh, lifestyle, we should uh, just uh, bear his uh, lifestyle in our lives. If you are doing in your work, you should be like uh, Christ. Always our talking, it should be like uh, Christ. Our behavior, you know, just uh, like uh, Christ in your doing, in serving armies, wherever you are, as uh, you live as a Christian, don't forget it. As a student, you know, in a school, you do, you should do the same. So Philippians is almost, I'm just linking to the New Testament from Daniel, Old Testament to the New Testament. Why I do that? Because Daniel had lived like the, as an example and, uh, you know, I think excellent, uh, you know, mother and examples, exemplary lives to be, you know, shown up to us. So we should do, we should live the same thing. Even though we live like a, a just a very, uh, you know, Babylonian or a Persian empire, like we don't like, we don't accept, you know, uh, empire like that. However, we should live as a Christian. And uh, Philippians 38 is talking about, I count everything as a loss because of the sur surpassing worth of uh, knowing Christ Jesus, my Lord. What does it mean? Everything is a, I take them as a rubbish, as a manure. I take everything as a nothing, except the knowledge of Jesus Christ. What is a prior, priority? Why should we prioritize something? You should set apart, you know, your worship. You should, we should prioritize something. Our faith why do you make money? Why do you, why are we living in this world? Why are you de doing our ministry? Everything is for the glory of God. You don't, you don't, you know, you shouldn't forget about our priority always goes to the give uh, glory and honor to God, you know. Always our surpassing, surpassing worth of uh, knowing Christ Jesus. Even though we know all knowledge about general knowledge is a very, uh, you can be very uh, excellent or top in this, uh, in this world. But however, you should have a knowledge of Christ. You should learn Bible. You should study. You should, uh, you know, you better have a uh, pay attention to study the Bible. It's very important to, uh, you know, build up our faith strength way. That's why you should uh, prioritize all the way, all the time. What's the most important thing in your life? You're doing, your job is a second priority, you know? You should, you should know that. As you're you know, serving your 
uh, you making money, whatever your position is a secondary job. Don't forget it. In my case, the same. My job is a secondary. My first job is that only, you know, the knowing the knowledge of Christ. This is a, we should always uh, prioritize uh, this, uh, you know, uh, thing. So don't forget it. The last thing I'm talking about, uh, the world uh, Christian views, world view, is uh, derived from the teaching of the Philippians. According to the Paul, Paul is uh, talking about, all right, we should live uh, Politio mind, 127, as a, a worthy of a citizenship, worthy of a living citizenship. How can you do that? You should, uh, you got a right purpose. You got a right principles. You got a right priority. Last thing, you should have a real source of power. Where does it from? It all things coming from the, the power of Christ. So, Paul just the witness that, that I can do all things, I can do everything in whom, through whom strengthens me. I can do everything. Do you have that experience? Through the whole my life, I experienced that, that uh, uh, this word of God, you know? Uh, we cannot do anything. We are just a fragile, we are a very uh, weak. But when you stand before God, and uh, you will experience God can do everything. So final stage is that we can uh, just uh, believe that God can allow me to everything. I can do all things through whom, through whom, or through him yeah, who strengthens me. He can do, he can make you do everything. Whatever you want it, you can, God will make you. If you need any wisdom, ask him. He will do it. He will give you according to James. You know, God is a, God is all source of, source of power and knowledge. Whatever you need, ask Him. He will give you and grant you. This is the teaching of the Bible. All right, everyone. I wanna uh, quit very much, uh, pretty uh, pretty quick. I wanna just make a conclusion that everybody knows and suggests how can you lose your uh, weight and diet. Everyone can suggest it. But who can really can do it? So everyone can, uh, you know, teach about the Bible. Who can really live uh, uh, with uh, his uh, behavior, life? That's different thing. Everyone knows it. But should uh, should uh, shown to us in our action, in our lives. We need uh, that kind of Christian, not only talking, you know, floating in waters when <laughs> drowning, eh? only floating waters in our mouth, you know. We should have shown, we should have be our action, our behavior just shown. We should have live as a, uh, people of God. Let us pray. Yeah.